know you guys i know i have not been on here in girl let me pipe down first of all because pipe down but seriously what's up you guys welcome back to my channel ah, 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 ah. girl i'm back girl vlogging it's been some time since i've uploaded since like valentine's day the valentine's day little moment um and yeah i just i needed to take a break y'all i've been on youtube for like literally about to be six entire whole entire years that's a long time girl and granted i have not been consistent throughout the whole time but like still it's like creatively it can mess with you and not only that but like i'm a graphic de designer as well so like creatively and mentally things can mess with you but y'all I'm getting ready to go and film some content, film some reels, film some, or take some photos and everything. But like, I've packed all my stuff as you can see. Wait, there's more, there's more. There's like heels and like all type of stuff because I'm going to be filming, shooting some content today. So yes, batch content day, especially because it's like 72 degrees here in Indy right now. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about that, y'all. Anyways, I will see y'all soon. I just want to get on here and say hi and just explain to y'all that yes, I have been MIA, but it's been for very good reason. Okay, this is our first look, jean on jean. I made these pants, um, and I'm thinking like maybe a parking garage shoot for this first look, but we'll see. I don't know. Whew. Okay, y'all. I'm here. I'm in a parking garage shooting only thing is so like i don't have any help right now and i'm trying to like set my camera up to like take my picture by itself because i don't have like a bluetooth remote but it's just like not working <laughs> like it's not working like i could take pictures on my camera on my iphone but like my pictures on my camera that i'm vlogging on now be so fire like that's why i'm just like okay let me just keep trying y'all <laughs> as you guys can see I have my camera set up. It's snapping pictures of me. Oh, oh, yeah. Let me see. Let me keep trying. Hopefully, I can see me. <laughs> I mean, well, I'm sure you can't, but I'll show you the picture in a second. Hey, guys. Can you see me? Y'all, it is currently like, I don't know what time it is. Honestly, but I don't know. I've been out all freaking day. I'm just gonna sit right here and chat with y'all. Hopefully, y'all can hear me because, yeah, but I've literally been going all day long. So freaking tired. I've been going all day, but my makeup look cute. Let me snap a little thumbnail pic. Okay, anyways, let's go like somewhere else because this is ain't girl. Am I getting thick or am I getting thick? I'm getting thick. Um, I'm literally like in for a night. I was gonna go out tonight, like, I don't know. I was just in the mood to like go out because I do not go out like that often when it comes to like actually going out like the nightlife. I just don't go out like that, like. But I like to go every now and then. The last time I went out was like last year. Um, but I was in the mood tonight to go out. Because, girl, why is it 70 degrees, 72 degrees in Indiana? Okay. Set, it's March 1st. 72 degrees in Indiana on March 1st. Girl, are you kidding me? so I said girl I'm hitting the streets and I really did hit the streets today like I was all around the city girl driving Hong Kong got my content today y'all seen that which you really didn't see much of it um and I'm gonna show y'all how I edit them everything so stay tuned but I was gonna go out but I'm just so tired right now like I don't even make no sense how tired I am. Okay, you guys, so we're here. 
I will show you more, but I'm new here. Like, I don't want to like put too much on camera because, yeah. Here is cute, nice book quality. And yeah, there we go. We are just getting service here. Lauren is here. Yes. Right here. Going well so far. I just left the nail shop. I got this really pretty pink color. I'm gonna have to give y'all more of like a, a shot like once I'm like somewhere where I can really let y'all see my nails and my toes. They look so good. Like one thing about it, your toes gotta look suckable, okay? And they look that. But I'm just coming into Bath and Body Works really quickly because I have. Hi, I'm doing well. How are you? Yeah, the body butters are in the top. So I have a free gift, and I wanted to get that while I'm out. And um, yeah, this if it looked like they got like new scents or something. But one thing about Bath and Body Works. Do, do they ever have new yeah. scents like oh, okay. it's like they rebrand the same scent put it in a different packaging oh, put it in a different oh, bottle yeah. all, right. all that yeah. so yeah but there's these i actually seen an ad i seen an ad for these um these right here and they look so pretty you guys like they have like champagne toast um I don't know. I also, I, I really don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna do something. So let's see what we can find. Also, they have this scent. I don't know what this scent is, but it's pretty to me. So I'm gonna sniff it and we'll see. It has a hair appointment because my hair is done for. Damn, that's not until the 17th. Your hair appointment? It's for the first order. Thank you. The second order. 1088. Okay. Um, Y'all, we stopped at Jagger's to get us some food. Um, let me like get something for a real. Look at this head. I'm so realistic, though. Yeah. Do you have flexi rods? Oh. I was gonna say because you can put curls in it. It's actually fine as it is, but um, if you want to like put curls or anything mm -hmm. in it, you can literally curl it and then just wrap it around the flexi rods and just leave them in. You'll have like curls. You can kind of run your fingers through them. You know, just a cute little look. Just might sit around Atlanta with mm -hmm. curlers in my hand. Thank you. Okay, so you guys. A review of the new nail place was that it was great uh, if you can see I got like pretty pink nails you guys you want to put your nails in the camera mm -hmm. <laughs> my girl got <laughs> hers super cute hers are like a cute they're like a pink but a new type of pink um, it was nice I would say thank you I would say for like the price that we paid, it was good. it was cute. But one like when you go to a more upper class place, I always expect a extra experience. And what the spirit experience is, I have no clue. That's for y'all to provide. You know, like I could say their foot their foot bath, not foot bath, but their um, pedicure. Um, I've gone to places that are less expensive and you get more like in Broad Ripple that one place I said we could also mm -hmm. go to I will stick to them for my pedicures not gonna lie because they give you like hot stones everything all for like the basic price we'll have to go there like when we need uh, filling yeah definitely the other place like the one we just went to they charge like $15 extra for hot stones and stuff like that but the other like in Rye Ripple, girl, they get you in, get you out, get you together, and they massage you really well. And when you get your your manicures, 
they give you a actual back massage like the actual person gives you a massage while you get your manicure so okay thank you is that everything yeah okay yeah. thank you you too he look like somebody i know <laughs> Talk about, have a good day <laughs> But I would say for what we paid and for the location and what the place was, I was expecting a little more, you know, to get out of it. But it was still cool. My nails look great. I have no complaints. So, okay, I'm about to get off of here. We about to go back to Lauren's, eat our food, and yeah. I had to come to Target because I seen on TikTok and this girl had this outfit on that she had like she was like this is her target and I was like I gotta go get the outfit so I don't know if it's actually here I looked online and it said that it was like they had like one left so I don't know where I would find it okay you guys so here's the outfit and it's so cute they have it in green. I didn't want to get an extra. I wanted it in green. Um, I kind of didn't want to get an extra small though, but that's all they have. And I, they don't have the pants. No, it's so cute. I'll have to show you it on the girl. If I can't find the pants, then I might not get it. I don't see the pants. That's so unfortunate. <laughs> they don't have the pants, you guys. I don't know what to do. I don't think I'm gonna get it because they don't have the pants to it. And I don't, excuse me. By the way, oh, sorry. You're fine. No, you're fine. I don't really want to like have to. She has very bad attitude. Yeah, very hard. <laughs> I'm not going to get it because they did not have the matching bottoms. And that's just upset me and my homegirls. And I don't really want to like. I don't really. Ooh, these are cute. Look at these like slipper shoes over here. I'm so sad about that new outfit because I seen like the vision like i seen how i was gonna style it in my head it was a part of me want to go back and get it and go visit like another target and find the pants i don't know i i have no clue what i'm gonna do honestly but i want to because i seen the vision like i just my hair was gonna be like perfect my lip gloss was gonna be like popping and i already knew a heel i was gonna wear and like I was gonna do like pretty like jewelry. Oh, I just seen it. Anyways, let me find me some food, y'all. Okay, you guys. I just made me a Chipotle bowl. These are the ingredients I got yesterday at Target. I'm about to smash. I'm not even about to talk to y'all. I just wanted y'all to see this greatness that I just I've created. Okay, you guys, I'm dressed, ready, did my makeup. Um, I'm, I just pulled up to my location to take pictures and I pulled up to the same location. I think I'm really gonna be focusing more on reels for these outfits. I was listening to this. Um, I don't know if y'all know who Bishop RC Blakes is, but he make all these videos just really empowering women. I'm about to play this like video I'm watching. It's called Non-Negotiable non -negotiable Standards of a High Value Woman by R.C. Blakes. And um, I just want y'all to listen to this part because it sparked a conversation. And I wanted to see what y'all thought about it. But here we go. Let's not be too long. Okay. Number one. Number one, a high value woman 
will never settle for a man that does not know her love language. So he said a high value woman will never settle for a man that does not know her love language. And I can admit that I've never really, I got coffee y'all with a straw, sorry. But I never really like thought about that. Like a high value woman doesn't settle for a man who does not know her love language. Like, okay, he can have all these other great traits and everything, but he don't know your love language. Like that is bound to cause a problem. And the reason why that intrigued me so much is because I've experienced that in friendships, right? So like, I'm definitely like a, a person who wants to like be appreciated, <laughs> like, tell me affirm to me and like show me like I like gifts like because and the reason I say that I don't do I don't want all that stuff for just no reason like because I know what type of friend I am to people and like if I love you I love you and I'm if I'm there for you I'm like ain't no question about it I am there for you but I be feeling like like it's like be, being the way that I am like I'm a very caring person to people and I'm a encouraging person I'm almost like think of, I'm a big sister first of all I have five younger sisters but like think of you having a big sister friend or like somebody you gonna go to for everything right if you going through it like blah 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 whatever I feel like I'm that friend for people but I feel like people be getting beside they self like I'm that friend but like affirm back to me that you appreciate me like I feel in a way sometimes people almost like take it for granted like they would expect that I have to do these things and I've experienced this in so many friendships like I'm not you know but I think the important thing here relating this back to love language is my love language is receiving words of affirmation first of all my, my love language is all of them but my love language is um, especially in friendships is re receiving words of affirmation and like just showing me that you appreciate all that I do for you because if you don't show me that I feel used like I feel like you just you get used to like you just you know you expecting something from me or you expect that I have to do what I do for you and I don't but again, relating that back to love languages, I think that's so important because it's bound to cause a problem. Even if to the other person who don't understand the other person's love language, it might not be an issue to them because they just doing them. But like to the person who it's like, okay, this person completely does not understand my love language. And I, you know, like it's bound to cause a problem. So just experiencing that in friendships, it really made me think about like, actual like romantic relationships and how a great of a point he made like you don't settle for people who don't know your love language now i'm not saying cut people off because they don't know your love language but if you've expressed to them you know what you like what your love language is and they still don't like they can't then it's like okay i might have to distance myself because you don't understand like and it's, it causes an issue in relationships i'm telling you I'm telling you just from being the the person who feels misunderstood like it causes an issue whether you know it or not so that's a valid point but I that was just how I broke that down he breaks everything down like he literally breaks down he gonna break this point down so I just shot some pictures but I think I'm gonna leave this area and go to like a another area um, this area I don't know i'm black y'all okay that's all i'm saying i'll be fine but like sometimes i just be feeling like so uncomfortable okay you guys so i kind of look a hot mess well i don't my edges do though but um i am at a dealership right now but i've seen this g-wagon and it's literally like my face like this is my dream car y'all and it's literally so perfect so i just wanted to kind of like look at it um and yeah because i want one and i'm just in a space where i'm ready to get one like i but i gotta keep doing the work girl clearly but here's the wagon i just feel like it's for me like it is mine see it touch it obtain it it's mine look at me next to this g-wagon 
you can't tell me this is not perfect for me it's literally perfect like it's the perfect size it's perfect and i wanted to like come take some selfies in front of it i probably won't post them i just wanted to like you know have them for my own records like post them on my vision board and yeah let me show y'all it's really a beautiful vehicle and it's ariana's boom it's ariana's so in the next year or two hopefully like a <laughs> year if you see miss airy rolling down the highway in her g-wagon looking fly just know i said i was gonna have it and i got it okay you guys sorry i didn't close out the vlog but thank you so much for watching i love y'all and i'll see you on the next video